that's it for the anvil stand. Things in the video you did not see. The actual making of the upsetting uh, anvil. This morning's the uh, morning for heat treatment of the upsetting anvil. Uh, this is donated by a viewer, uh, Eric. And thank you, Eric, for uh, donating material for this. This is three inches in diameter. Uh, I've stamped it that it's 4140. So uh, later on, I, I'll still know what material this was made out of. Heat treat this in, the, in my hot shot uh, 1200 oven uh, from Barzy Industrial. Uh, so check out Stan's channel. I already have my oven warming, warming up to 400 and I've already programmed it and we're all set to go. I'm going to throw it in and in a few hours it will be done. right into the 350 degree oven. We got it down to around uh, 280 or so on the outside at least and uh, put it right into tempering. And uh, we'll leave it in there for a few hours and hopefully we came out nice and hard. On the faces. That's all I'm concerned about is why I dipped it in the faces first to try to get those hardest and then we'll go from there. There we go. Cooled enough that I can hold it really well. So it's a, I can feel feel a little warmth in it, but looks pretty good. Let's do the uh, old file test. Oh yeah, not not like quite like glass hard, but it, the, this file does bite a little tiny bit. Not much though. We'll do this and then I'm going to clean it up and then we'll do this again. Start right off with a 65 and that wants to bite. And let's go on down. These are by five increment 60. I think the toaster oven was a little on the warm side. So, I might be a little softer than I really, really wanted, but yeah, that's pretty close there. 45, it's probably a little, it, yeah, it's harder than 45, it's closer to 50. Yeah, not really. Yeah, it's it's about it's somewhere uh, between fifty and fifty-five. It's not quite fifty-five, but it's a little more than fifty. So that's not too bad. That will work actually pretty good. And uh, let me go clean this up.
side two is done. Side two. Awesome. Uh, you guys can't tell, but it's awesome. <laughs> hey, I'm over here on the surface plate. And let's see if we can get that to. Yeah. It's on zero. I'm just going to spin it. This is a tenth, tenths indicator, just so you know. Every mark's a tenth of a tenth of a thousandth. Right. Zero movement. Doesn't mean it's square. It means that both sides are are. You know what? Damn near perfect. It do, the needle doesn't even move. That is awesome. I don't know about squareness. I didn't check it. All right, I set my indicator up against my standard here. Uh, it's a granite square, um, and so it's set up for square. And we'll, we're just going to sweep around this thing here a few places, and we'll see how square it really is. So zero. So right there, I'm. One point two thousandths out. Uh, uh, leaning away from me here, it's leaning toward me about one point oh, about four thousandths toward me here now. So, I'm just checking a few spots and five thousandths. So, maybe about five thousandths. Could be a, a bump on the edge here, too, the roughness in the surface. It's not machined, so. Three thousandths. Yeah, you know, so it's probably between three, around three thousandths out, out of square over three inches in height. But the, the sides are actually perfectly parallel. So that's, I mean, I didn't try to make it square. So. But finish came out actually, you know, pretty darn good. It's not perfect, but it, it's, uh, it came out awful nice. First side came out better, but I didn't redress between doing both sides. I probably should have, but you know, it's 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 pretty darn good. So I test this uh, to see now they got rid of all the scale and ground and everything, and this is a 50, this one, and let's see how in the middle here. The middle should be the softest. Oh, and it's not grabbing. It's not grabbing anywhere. That's that's a good sign. Try 55. Now the edges could very easily be harder than in the middle. The center is where usually you'll have a, the softest as far as heat penetration goes. So um, we'll see how it all is here. Now 55 is not grabbing at all out there. Barely, barely is grabbing at 55. So I would say I'm probably around 55 in the middle and harder at the edges. Because it just barely grabbed at 55. This is a 60. Yeah, that does grab at 60. So, and out, well, out here at the edges, yeah, barely. Just, just barely at 60 out at the edges. So we're probably about 55 in the center and 60 at the edges. Yeah, that's uh, that's nice. Came out good. 
it's an anvil. We're going to beat on it. So I came out really good. Very happy. You, uh, usually you don't get up to the 60s uh, with this material with 4140. Uh, but quetching in water, like I did, you can you can get it harder. If, if you quenched in oil, the cooling is slower and you, you probably won't get to 60. But doing it in water, you can actually get it a little harder than the 55. So we're probably right up there closer to 60, So, which is sweet. And we tempered it, so we're, we're good. It's time to beat on it. And we just finished up the upsetting anvil right there. And that's going to drop in there. So it's nice and low. It's hard. Uh, so it came out, uh, came out uh, about 50 to 55 in the center. And a little harder out here, almost about about 60, almost out here at the edges. So, the, it's nice and hard. Came out awesome.